So today we have a new theme. Yeah. So before going to the theme, so the power of 2Gs. So you all may be wondering what is this 2G? Yes. So all of you now might be very aware of 4G, 5G, correct? Na? Yes, all of you are aware what is 4G, 5G? Yeah. So 2G. Yes, let us see first G. Google. Yes. The first G is Google, the god of information. Yes. So most of things, most of the things we need, uh, we can easily get that information in Google. Anything, if someone wants to know anything, Google. Yeah. So yes. Any any picture, any video, any images, any notes, any report, whatever, with respect to your school, also whatever. Uh, so Google gives. Yeah. So Google handles 3.8 million searches per minute. Mm. Out of 4.39 users, Google itself has 4 billion users. Mm. So isn't it amazing? So Google information god. So next G. <laughs> Second G stands for Gita. Yes. So G Google only information, but Gita, what it gives? Transformation. Correct. Yes. So how many of the how many of the how many of the people in the whole world just by googling they are becoming transformed? Huh? Yes. There is no transformation. Only information transfer, but there is no transformation within. Correct, na? Yes. So Gita is a god of transformation. Yeah. So making people to give a bad character and develop godly life. Yes. So Gita is from time of the beginning of creation yes which goes back to millions and billions of years before yes yeah and uh, it is uh, humanly unfathomable how gita has transformed many people from bygone ages correct yeah so what do you think information is what is needed a transformation yes yes ladies and Yes, Dev. Sir, transformation. Yeah, transformation. And for, for kind of, for transformation, we need a particular kind of information. Yes, only information will not help. Yeah, the information le should lead to a kind of transformation from within, where people can uh, become a better people. Yes, yes, than before. Mm -hmm. So that's what Gita uh, gives to everyone. Yeah. Other hand, Google gives information, but how many of them are getting transformed? Yeah. In fact, uh, uh, they are getting more and more newer ways to cheat people. Yeah. yeah. Yes. So more and more uh, uh, cyber criminals are uh, cyber cyber crime is increasing. Uh, internet based uh, crimes. Yes. So because mind is devilish. Yeah. It is not trained. So what it will use? It will use a facility for devilish activities. Correct? No? Yes. Yeah, from the very uh, nowhere education is given to train the mind. Yeah, and the mind is not properly trained, due to which uh, the very facility can be can turn out to be a great impediment, a great disaster for the whole world. Yeah, but you see, Gita, many people who are about in a world to commit suicide. Yeah, but uh, they got some meaning and purpose to their lives by reading Gita. Yes, on the verge of their death, it Gita saved them. From from the from that scenario, yeah. Yes. Hmm. So, which one is most important, information or transformation? Obviously, yes. Uh, tra uh, uh, information, you see, it goes for the head, hmm? but transformation comes from the heart. Yes. So, having only information. Even computer can recite slokas. Full Bhagavad Gita it can recite. Huh? Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. But uh, huh? but uh, can computer live by those principles? What computer? Uh, what uh, Bhagavad Gita teaches? Yes. Or only human being can actually work on it? Yeah. Yes. And live by those divine principles that Bhagavad Gita says. Yeah. So many people know Bhagavad Gita throughout the world. 
a lot of information uh, but you see people unless they practice there is no transformation within so we need information the information of gita is available everywhere but only when you start practicing the principles you will live by the principles of gita will you will you be able to experience a transformation yeah so only information without application is simply hard labor hard labor yes just uh, in bhagavad in bhagavatam it is says shama shama kevalam yeah any activity which will not uh, help you to understand who you are and what is this world why am i here where i will be after 100 years where i was before 100 years if we are not able to come to this point this questions the answers to these questions and all those activities is simply a mere waste of time that's what bhagavatam says yeah so much information throughout the world but we have to seek for transformation yeah here is a wonderful story yes uh, this happened in south india so all of you are eager to listen this story yes so all of you know <coughs> that uh, shriman chaitanya lord chaitanya mahaprabhu who is none other than krishna 500 years back he appeared in this age of kali Yes, and he inaugurated the congregational chanting of the names of God, which is the only sublime method to actually del get uh, deliver people from all the sufferings in this age. Yeah, so see, he was on his tour to South India. So finally, he came across Shirangam. So all of you are aware of Shirangam. Shirangam, it is in South India, correct? The very world's world's second largest temple. It's the world's second largest temple. Yes, yeah. So, so Lord Chaitanya was going across this temple, and on the way he came across a Brahmana who was reading Bhagavad Gita. Yes, but uh, he was not able to pronounce properly. Yeah, yes, he was not able to pronounce properly, and uh, all the other Brahmanas who were very learned, they were all laughing at him. Yeah, see, this this fellow doesn't know how to read Bhagavad Gita. He doesn't know how to hold Bhagavad Gita. and he is reading bhagavad gita what is this and that too is spelling he is uh, pronouncing very uh, differently and uh, what is what is he reading so all of them are criticizing and uh, laughing at him but this fellow, this brahmana was so much engrossed yes uh, actually when la chaitanya saw this brahmana uh, he saw that uh, tears were coming from his eyes yeah and la chaitanya approached this brahmana who was reading bhagavad gita he told hey, brahmana what is Uh, what is it that you are getting so much uh, uh, ecstasy so much uh, uh, mood by bhagavad gita that you are getting tears from your eyes what what are you experiencing kindly tell me so this brahmana replied actually na i am a very i am a illiterate person but my guru has ordered me hmm, to read bhagavad gita every day yes so on the instruction of my guru and to please him though i am not able to i i am i am uh, i am not i am so illiterate i don't know how to read but i do my best to read bhagavad gita every day uh, la chaitanya was very much pleased that uh, this brahmana was following his guru's order though it was very difficult but he was doing every, doing it every day uh, in spite all the other brahmanas were coming criticizing him and uh, laughing at him but he never uh, uh, set back uh, yes he cut, he followed the instructions of the guru very seriously uh, and lord chaitanya told very good then what is it that making you cry by reading bhagavad gita so brahman told actually you know, whenever i read bhagavad gita whenever i open bhagavad gita uh, i get the picture of lord who is become parthasarthi i i, I get a picture in my mind wherein the lord has become the driver for devotee arjuna this this quality of the lord to become servant of his devotee arjuna though he is uh, the proprietor enjoyer and control of the whole millions and millions of universe such a lord has taken such a position for his devotee whenever this picture comes to my mind tears flows from my eyes yes when lord chaitanya heard that uh, this brahmana uh, saying like this he told you are the actual you are actually the authority of bhagavad gita yes la chaitanya told you are the authority of bhagavad gita you have actually understood the essence of bhagavad gita yes 
other hand all those brahmanas were very learned very scholarly they know in and out of bhagavad gita they they can uh, without seeing they can recite whole bhagavad gita but la chaitanya never never uh, uh, told them that you are authority of bhagavad gita but he told this brahmana to be authority of bhagavad gita yes yeah so from this yeah uh, what we can understand yes can so can anyone of you tell some lessons please raise hand what you understood from this story raise hand others who have not answered till now in any of the sessions you all of you got this story Okay. Yes, sir. That sir, I understood that the Brahmana, although he was illiterate, he read the Bhagavad Gita. He had full devotion. Yes. Yeah. So the Brahmana. So that means what? In order to read Bhagavad Gita, is not that you should be very, very uh, intelligent. You should be very learned. No. No. The main the one. the only quality to read bhagavad gita is to have is to follow the instructions of the guru yes yeah yeah and by the mercy of his guru by following his instruction faithfully yeah krishna had revealed himself to this brahmana yeah yes and we could clearly see the transformation yeah yes in him so similarly the courses we are conducting now it's not just for information yeah it's not just for information we want all of you to actually learn the good principles of bhagavad gita yes and along along with that memorizing the verses just memorizing the verses uh, uh, even computer can do it it can recite a whole bhagavad gita at stretch without saying yeah yeah Yes. but what is most important is to understand the meanings only with meanings yes we are teaching you with the meanings applications correct na so that even uh, for a for a moment you can live bhagavad gita yes in your life yes yeah so the theme for the next four days that we will be going to study is friend or foe choose wisely yes yeah here it is yeah this message got okay yeah yeah friend or foe choose wisely this is what we have chosen so can anyone tell what is meant by foe 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 chat in the box let me see how many of you know what is the meaning of foe f o e foe enemy correct yes yes so friend or enemy choose wisely yes correct so in this picture all of you can see huh? they appear like to uh, they appear to be friend to each other but uh, what they are holding behind shows they are dead enemies yeah yes so similarly there are so many things in our life also looks very 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 nice yes as friendly yes but later they cause problem for us apparently it looks very very beautiful very looking very attractive but as and when you become close to it later it becomes problem to you yeah. so let us know about this yes so what bhagavad gita teaches yes so is the first verse nectar in the beginning but poison at the end bhagavad gita 18.38 Yeah. Yes. So some things look very, 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 very nice to you. It very, it's very pleasing to your mind. Nectar means something pleasing to your mind. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. As this water pot, you see, looks very good, crystal clear. Ah, huh? bluish water. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But uh, the water which is looking very bluish. Yeah. Yeah. But as you, you see. when it when it falls on the plant yeah 
the very bluish water was a chemical yeah looks very glittering but when it fell on the the plant uh, the plant died because it acted like a poison so everything what looks very very nice it may be very pleasing to the mind yeah but when you try start applying it it becomes poison to us so what is it so here is the verse yeah yes so here is a sloka vishendriya samyoga yatat agre amruto pamam pariname vishame vishameva tat sukham rajasam smritam yeah so what is this verse so this sloka is saying so when we get uh, so let me let us go word by word meaning then you will understand yeah vishendriya vishaya vishaya means the object of the senses indriya means senses yes so object of senses and senses samyoga combination yeah so, so for example for eyes the uh, object of sense is beautiful objects to look at yeah for nose object of sense is fragrance for ears objects of sense is something nice song correct na so like that when senses come in touch with object of senses samyoga tat yat tat agre yat tat agre yat tat means with that in the beginning amrutopavam just like nectar yes when senses perceive something as nectar yeah something beautiful to look at nectar it looks very pleasing to the mind yeah nectar pariname vishame vishamiva but at the end the very sense object turn out turns out to be poison yeah tat sukham that kind of happiness rajasam smritam it is in the mode of passion yes any happiness in the mode of passion seems to be very pleasing in the beginning but the very same thing will turn out to be will turn out to be what poison in the end poison means something which uh, you, you 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 suffer from it you suffer from it yeah yes the that kind of happiness is in the mode of passion okay so we will be learning some examples of this yes in the coming slides but before which let us recite this sloka okay so now arjuna bhima and yudhishthira okay so one by one in sequence we can recite recite okay yes so before oh yeah here is a one second let me we didn't read the meaning na before starting let us read the meaning yes anyone can read yes shar will read read the meaning yes proji the translation that happiness which is derived from the contact of the senses with their objects and which appears like nectar at first but poison at the end is said to be the nature of proji the below is not getting seen nature of passion okay okay yes so so in the sequence all of you can recite vishaya indriya samyoga अग्रेमृतोपम विषेन्द्रिय संयोगा परिणाम 
Yes, all of you can tell. To first, last two lines I will recite. Pariname visham eva tatsu kamraja samsmatam. Pariname visham eva tatsu kamraja samsmatam. Yeah, Pusu Sloka will recite here attentively. Uh, Vishayendriya sam yoga dhyatat angre mrutopamam. Pariname visham eva tatsu kamraja samsmatam. विदउट सी लेट सी वेशयेन्द्रिय संयोगाद्यत्तत्ंग्रे मृतोपम परिणामे विषम एवा तत्सुखं राजसंस्मतम यस विषयेन्द्रिय संयोगाद्यत्तत्ंग्रे मृतोपम परिणामे विषम एवा तत्सुखं राजसंस्मतम यस एनी वन कैन रिसाइड विदाउट सीइंग लेट अस सी यू कैन डू इट I will lower all the hands. Now you can raise. Yes, Arika. Hare Krishna, Prabhuji. Hare Krishna. Vishnu Indriya Sam Yoga Tatta Agrebr Topamam Parina Me Vishamiva. ंग Uh, one second i'll you have to raise hand before speaking okay and now raise hand yes chetan sir in ha bharat but what incident going on who is that fellow okay um. polguna yes Yes. Sir, uh, Dharma Raja. No, 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 no. Yes, sir. Now. Okay. Dushyasana. Dushyasana was uh, pulling Dropa's this sari. No, 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 no. Yes, Chakrish. Prabhu Ji Ravan. Yes, Ravan. Yes, and that lady. Huh? Lady, so it's a devotee of Vishnu. Yes, who is a devotee of Vishnu? Okay, Veda Vati, Veda Vati. Yes. Yeah, yeah. See, this episode actually it uh, happens before kidnapping of Mother Sita. Yeah. So Ravan used to travel throughout the world, uh, and he used to kidnap women. Uh, he was such a lusty fellow. Yeah. So he was traveling in the sky. and he happened to see this lady very beautiful yeah and so in the mountain range huh? actually she was alone and uh, uh, so La ramana landed there huh? and he happened to uh, propose this lady yeah and this lady's name was vedavati yeah she was vedas personification yeah vedas personification and uh, she was very very devoted to lord vishnu and she was practicing severe austerity yeah in order to attain lord vishnu yeah in order to 
uh, attain Lord Vishnu as her husband. Yeah, yes. And uh, and uh, when she happened to see this Ramana who was uh, coming to harass her, she told her, hey, "You, you, 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 you how, how dare you, how dare you to touch me? Huh? Yeah, I don't, I won't marry anyone except Lord Vishnu. Yes, yeah. So this Ramana was demonic, very demonic mentality. Yes, he called out, he caught hold of her hair. See, he caught hold of her hair immediately." Since Vedavati was very much strong, very much uh, uh, austere, she had mystic powers. Yeah, she immediately chop off, chop off her hair with her hand. Yeah, yes, and uh, uh, Ravana uh, fall uh, fall towards a distance, fall at a distance. Uh, after seeing this, yes. Yeah, and she cursed you fool. Huh? Henceforward, anyone whom you force, huh? any any woman, if you force huh? them, then you will die at, at once. Huh? If you any uh, going further, if you force any woman, you harass any woman, then immediately you will be killed at that time. Yeah. This is why this is why our Ramana, when he kidnapped Mother Sita, he dared to force Mother Sita. Yeah. Yes, to accept him. Yeah. Yes. This was the reason. And actually, Vedavati, uh, when, uh, when Ravana happened to kidnap Mother Sita, actually, Mother Sita is a divine energy of Lord Krishna or Lord Ram. Yes. So, no one can uh, touch the divine energy of the Lord. Yes. So, whom Ravana kidnapped was Vedavati. Yeah. Yes. Whom Ravana kidnapped because when, uh, when uh, Ravan came, immediately Mother Sita was taken by Agni. Surya, yes, and what presented was Mother si this uh, Vedavati, who was in the form of Mother Sita, and who Ravana abducted was Vedavati, yes, in the form of Sita, not the Sita. And this Vedavati who has came in the form of Sita, she became the cause uh, of uh, death of Ravan, yes, yeah, and then when there was Agni Pariksha, yes, so Vedavati went into uh, went, went into Agni. And Agni, who had taken Mother Sita, returned back to Lord Ram. So in this way, we can see Ravan. Yeah? What seems to be nectar for him? Yes, hmm? to have uh, uh, Vedavati. Yeah, because. Uh, but in the later end, the very thing became the cause of his death. Yeah. So this kind of uh, uh, happiness, which comes, which is seems to be very pleasing in the beginning. A later turns out to be poison. Is in the mode of passion. Yes, Ravana was in the mode of passion. His cause of his happiness became the cause of his death. Yeah. And here one more example. Yeah, Sita getting attracted to golden deer. Yeah. Yes. So in the beginning, this golden deer uh, uh, turn uh, was seems to be very very pleasing. Yeah. But uh, Mother Sita when she didn't follow uh, the uh, the instructions of uh, Lakshman, yeah, and she went after this golden deer. And later, the very happiness that she wanted from this golden deer turned on to be distress because that is what uh, made Sita separate from Lord Ram. Yeah, you see the spider web. All of you have seen spider web is so attractive. Yes, yeah. The, it will be very, very pleasing to the eyes of flies, yeah, insects. The insects get attracted to this web and they go and sit sits on this web, yeah. But what happens? It gets trapped there, and five, five, a spider comes and kills the insects, yeah. So the 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 happiness, which seems to be nectar in the beginning, and later the very happiness seems to be poison or threat to us, is in the mode of passion. Yeah, here is a can see this one second. Yeah. Mother Sita. So Ram went to Ram goes to get this golden deer to Sita.
yeah <laughs> this was an incident that he was a maricha demon huh? and the yeah so sita mai sita mai got attracted to golden deer but there are <laughs> similarly we also might get attracted to so many golden things but looks like a look looks like that but uh, there will be danger yeah so you will get to know some practical examples so all of you can notice this this animals getting attracted to we have made, we have studied this earlier yeah different animals get uh, getting attracted to one of their sense objects and getting trapped yeah yes just a recollection for you so here, here is <laughs> a practical example for us yeah yeah same way for us video games smartphones so much fascinating yeah but when one one becomes addicted to it the result is uncontrolled mind yeah he lacks control over himself uh, deviating thoughts yeah yes so so many uh, uh, ill thoughts comes to the mind yeah loss of memory power yeah yeah over sleepiness yes so though in the beginning uh, uh, this uh, devices looks to be very very fascinating but as and when you start using it yeah you get addicted to it yes and uh, you lose control of your mind yes yeah and uh, uh, you get so much distracted yeah so this is in the mode of passion happiness which you get from these gadgets which looks very attractive but if you misuse it if you don't know if you are my if you not controlled if you are not regulated in using this the very mobile can become a cause of distress for us yeah because it will uh, lose our performance in our studies correct na yeah so likewise there are many things isn't it see so many of this yeah so many things you can actually relate to yeah yeah video games on all uh, uh, so many of so much uh, uh, unwanted things in the tv yes yeah by watching which and there is no transformation at the end uh, it will loosen our performance day to day performance correct yeah yes so such kind of happiness which is which seems to be very good in the beginning but by getting addicted to it we will suffer a lot yeah that is in the mode of passion nectar in the beginning but no focus on studies yeah lowering the performance and loses the grade yeah poison at the end yeah yes likewise there are many things <laughs> even chocolate for that matter it seems to be very very ah so nice ah. yeah if you start addicted to chocolates then what happens yeah yeah later your tooth will fall it gets uh, uh, decayed yeah with so much germs yeah yeah we lose our good health uh, time is lost in going to doctor yeah? and money is spent in treatment so much loss and academics also loss yeah if you go to doctor here and there you will not be able to focus on your academics yeah so you have to see the kind of happiness which is very pleasing but later turn out to be poison you should avoid it yeah yes so but you all, you all might be wondering what is that which can give us happiness huh? uh in the end yeah yeah so krishna gives that also yes so we should be well aware of all these things so that you can safeguard yourself all that glitters is not gold be watchful of the consequences correct yeah? so you should be very careful huh? the things which looks attractive for senses may not be good in the long run yeah yes any strangers any stranger if he comes and give some chocolate or candy yeah so be very careful uh, because it might be harmful for us yes though it is very attractive maybe he, they are giving some poison correct na so so although candy looks very attractive but because the man is stranger we will avoid it yes similarly yeah same point krishna is mentioning to all of us be watchful of the things in this world yeah be watchful of the things in this world yeah all that glitters is not gold yeah you should be watchful of many many things yeah yes
yes but there are so many good things huh? they look like difficult for us or to say poison in the beginning correct na something seems to be very difficult in the beginning yeah 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 but later they become nectar for us forever yeah huh? yes it will become nectar for the time to come so can anyone give some example of this which seems to be very difficult but later it becomes nectar give some example raise your hand ha huh. yes gagandeep prabhu ji exams exams so you nice you study well very difficult yeah but you study well yeah then when you get good marks and when it brings glory to your parents you feel very happy correct na yes yes prabhu very nice thank you yes any other example yes sarika but um exercising exercising correct so we will start with the exercise correct um, but if we consistently do every day it requires great uh, determination right yeah when you do it every day then you will get a uh, good health yes so it is very difficult in the beginning but later is good for your health correct any other example ha huh. yes sharul yes i am seeing chat also yes arna sir uh, sir eating on vegetable um, sir eating vegetables and all eating vegetables yes sir like uh, bitter gourd bitter gourd okay very nice <laughs> nice example bitter gourd uh, it is very bitter but by taking which it has so much health benefits yeah correct very nice A nice example all of you sir so poison in the beginning but nectar at the end hmm? so can anyone recognize recognize this what event is going here please chat in the box yeah samudra mantan lila correct yeah where demons and demigods are engaged in churning the milk ocean yeah you see in the beginning in the beginning what came you know poison came yeah yeah poison came out yes but all of them were steady and later came nectar so poison in the beginning nectar in the end okay so here is the verse yatad agre vishamiva parinaame mrutopamam tatsukam satvikam proktam atma buddhi prasadajam yatad which that agre in the poison in the beginning it is poison parinaame yeah? amrutopapam but gradually it becomes nectar very pleasing tat sukham that kind of happiness satvikam proktam it is in the mode of goodness atma buddhi prasadajam huh? huh? which gives huh? wants to satiate in one's self prasadam and satisfaction yeah that which is which in the beginning may be just like poison but at the end is just like nectar and which awakens to the awakens one to self realization is said to be in the happiness in the mode of goodness yeah so happiness in the mode of goodness can help you to realize who you are yeah it seems to be okay. so we'll go to some examples before which we'll recite this shloka yeah similarly in the sequence all of you can recite arjuna bhima and yudhishthira yes okay. sir okay yes, yatad agre vishamiva 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 परिणाम मृतोपम परिणाम मृतोपम 
परिणाम मृतोपम परिणाम मृतोपम अग्रे विषमिवा परिणाम मृतोपम सात्विक आत्मा बुद्धि प्रसाद आत्मा बुद्धि प्रसाद आत्मा बुद्धि प्रसाद तत्सुखम सात्विक प्रोक्त आत्म बुद्धि प्रसाद अग्रे विषमिवा परिणाम Everyone, I told to hear attentively full sloka. Okay, unless you hear, I will repeat. Correct, na? Okay. Yatad agre vishamiva parina me amruto pamam tatsukam satvi kam proktam atma buddhe prasada jam. Yes. Now. Recite everyone. Yes. Let us see who can tell without seeing. Raise hand. Others. Who oh, have not told yet? I will give chance if you raise hand. Yes, Jayant. Hare Krishna, Prabhu. Yes. Yes, Prabhu. Bhagavad Gita, eighteen point three seven. Yet that agree me. Yet. एग्जांपल्स इन द स्क्रिप्चर्स यू Might be aware of the two personalities here. So please chat in the box. Who are these two personalities? Two boys who are seeing, whom you are seeing in the slide. Yes, chat in the box. Yes, Pralad and Dhruva, correct. Yeah. So you see, Dhruva Maharaj underwent so much of difficulties. Yeah. For six months, very severe tapasya. Huh? It was like poison. Yeah. Yes. So in the in the he underwent that six months of tapasya. Yes. And later, it it turned to be nectar. So can any any one of you tell what is that nectar? Chat in the box. What is that nectar he got at the end? What nectar? How the tapasya turned to be nectar in the end? attained vishnu correct yes so he happened to witness lord vishnu face to face and lord vishnu personally blessed him uh, by keeping his conscience on the head of dhruva correct so other than prahlad maharaj you see so much torture uh, his father gave him yeah so much torture the only only thing is he was a staunch devotee of vishnu yeah and his father tortured him like anything 
he I even uh, fed poison, yes, and did all kind of activities to kill Prahlad. Yeah. Yes. So though it was very difficult yeah, to Prahlad, for Prahlad, he never gave up his devotion to Lord Vishnu. Yeah. Yes. So he bear all the difficulties and he never gave up his devotion to Lord Vishnu. At the end, yes, yeah. What nectar he received? Nectar. What nectar? What is that nectar? Lord Narsim Dev. Lord Narsim Dev personally came to Prahlad Maharaj. In fact, in every walk of his it is Lord, uh, uh, Lord on the top of the hill. Yeah? From below, Lord is protecting him. Yeah? So similarly, in our life also, so much obstacles comes in our life. Yeah? Gadge, gadge comes, your friends will come. Yeah? Yeah, so much obstacles come in our devotion to Lord Vishnu, who, can, who is the only protector in our crisis. No money can help us. No relatives can help us. Yeah? To actually take us uh, from this ocean of birth and death. Only Lord Vishnu can help us. Yeah. Yes. So in all difficulties and all uh, so-called difficulties and so-called so -called happy situations in this life, we should never uh, give up our devotion to Lord Vishnu. That he is the only protector, only savior. Yes. Ultimate nectar. Yeah, here is some some nice example. <laughs> yeah, this is a medicine. Huh? Uh, usually, it seems to be very bitter. Yeah, so sometimes children cry; they will not take medicine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But uh, huh? the very medicine, the mother knew that this is what can make my child cure cure of the disease. Yeah. So when the child cries, will the mother stop feeding medicine? No. Yeah. Though the child cries, the mother feeds the medicine. Yeah. Though it seems like poison to the child. Yes. But but when the disease gets cured, the child will become very healthy, free from disease. Yeah. Become very healthy. Yeah. So although the medicine seems to be bitter in the like poison in the beginning. But child administering which it gets good health and later turns out, turns out to be nectar. Correct? No? So another example for happiness in the mode of goodness. Also, all of you know this sugar cane juice. Yeah. Is sugar cane juice bitter? How many of you say it is bitter? Chat in the box. <laughs> Sugar cane juice is bitter. Yeah. And it is not bitter. It is sweet. But, but when one has got jandice, yeah, yeah. So, so doctor advises uh, the patient to eat, drink sugar cane, sugar cane juice. But for a jandice person, A sugar cane juice tastes very big. But the cure is the sugar cane juice. Yeah? Yeah? So when the patient takes the sugar cane juice, though it seems to be very bitter for him, but by taking which, gradually he will regain his taste. Then sugar cane juice turns to be nectar. Yeah. So it's a, this is one more example. Hmm? Yes. So how to know? So how to know? Is it uh, any activity? Is it going to be a poison or is it really nectar? Yeah. Here is. You can. Kaun ho tum roopan manushya? Or is घनी जंगल में क्या कर रहे हो मैं दशरथ पुत्र राम हूं देवी लेकिन तुम मैं <laughs> मैं इस वन की रानी हूं शूर्पणखा 
आप यहाँ की रानी हैं तो आइए मेरी कुटिया में पधारिए नहीं तुम चलो मेरे साथ संसार भर के सुख तुम्हारी प्रतीक्षा में है मैं नहीं जा सकता देवी मैं वचनबद्ध हूं तुम जाओ मेरे जैसी सुंदरी त्रिलोक में नहीं मेरा मेरा प्रणय स्वीकार करो मैं तुम्हें यहाँ का राजा बना दूंगी तुम स्त्री हो देवी मैं तुम्हें हानि नहीं पहुंचाना चाहता चले जाओ तू मूर्ख है राम अब अब तुम मेरा दास बनेगा को नहीं मारते इसलिए जा भाग जा अब तू किसी को अपने रूप का लोभ नहीं दे पाएगी So this is an incident in Rama and when Shurpanaka, she was a sister of Ravan, happened to meet Ram, yes, and she was uh, 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 wanting Ram, though she was very attractive, yeah. So did Ram considered the opportunity as nectar, yeah. So why why did Lord Ram accepted Shurpanaka. Please chat in the box. Yes. Because it was against his principle. Yeah. So he was Ekapatni Vata. Yeah. He was already married. Correct. Yeah. So any principle, anything which is making you uh, break the principles, divine principles, uh, you, have, you should understand that is in the mode of passion. Yes. Uh, anything. Yes. Divine principles, which has been enunciated in Bhagavad Gita. So you should consider that is in the mode of passion. What are the divine principles? Especially in this age, the divine principle is to every day sincerely chant the names of God. Yes? So anything which is coming between this, you should understand. At least 10-15 minutes you have to spare. Yeah? Because that is what will bring you the ultimate eternal happiness. Yeah? Yes? And uh, uh, in your in your, in your your day-to-day life, like your studies, correct? Na? Or exams? Yeah? Whatever which tends to make you very weak in your studies. You should consider it is in the mode of passion. Yeah. So following the words of God, yeah. So will make us to hold the right things and avoid wrong things. Yeah. When we follow the teachings of Bhagavad Gita, yeah, then what? We will get intelligence to hold the right things and avoid wrong things. Example, Mother Sita wanting deer. Oh, yes. So it was a great attraction in the beginning. But the very attraction turned out to be problem at the end. Yeah, She did not listen to the words of Ram and Lakshman. Yeah, But if he, if he would have heard, then she would have saved. Correct, na? So similarly, we should hear the words of God in the form of Gita. Then you, you will know what to do, how to actually uh, give up the wrong things and accept the right things. So here are some examples. All of you can say yes or no to this uh, situation. Okay. 
Why to get up so early? I will get up late. So what will be the consequence? Loses quality hours in the morning. So what do you say? When, when your mind says, why to get up so early? I will get up late. So what do you say? Yes or no? Yeah. No. Correct. Yes. Okay. Next. I feel chanting boring, but still I will do it as our teacher thought. What is the consequence? Good character, good values and better life. So what do you say to your mind? Yes. Yeah. Yes. So something which is beneficial in the longer run. Accept it. This is the mode of goodness. Other, other hand, but you don't know the importance of the morning hours. You lose that hour. You could have you lose it for a pretty sleeping pleasure. I like to play as it is a great fun. Although I am not planned for things. <laughs> so the opportunity of getting good grades. So what do you say to your mind? Yes or no? So why to memorize slokas and hear wisdom tales? <laughs> Correct, na? Your mind mental is so attractive, so glittering. Movies are so glittering. Huh? Yeah? Yes? What is the consequence? Lose the opportunity to get the better gifts from God like Anuman and Arjuna got. Yeah? So by following the words of God, they got so much uh, advanced. Huh? Uh, they, they could do so much. Huh? But we will lose that opportunity. No. I take out my time in a day to assist my parents although they don't ask. Yes, by doing this you become responsible. Win the faith and trust of the parents in your life. So don't go by initial pleasure. You try to see whether this is landing me, whether it is landing me in a good situation for future. Yeah. Presently, it is look it is very very pleasing, but you should always focus on the future. Yeah. Long term benefit. Yeah. Just like a small child, they will cry. All of you might be cried actually. Why I am why I am put in the school? I want to play all day long. Yeah, my parents are forcing me to go to school. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But uh, the parents know, though it is difficult for this child now, but if it pursue that difficulty to start go going to the school, later who will get benefited in the long run? The child will get benefited. Correct. Na? Similarly, for uh, even for elders. They might tell you something us to some something which is very difficult for us. But if we follow, who is the benefit? Who, is, who will get benefited? We are the one who get benefited. Yes. And similarly, Krishna is also giving so many instructions. Think of me, worship me, always pay obeisances to me. Yes. Yeah. And regulate your lifestyle. Uh, don't get don't be don't go after the tiny pleasures of the world. Uh, yeah. And he says that we are not this body, we are soul. Uh, Meant to be happy in the spiritual world. So why are you loitering in this material world from one body to another? Yeah. So don't go by temporary pleasures of this body. Yes. But to seek for eternal happiness in the soul and this relationship with God. Yes. Yeah. So these things might be difficult in the beginning, but when you start practicing every day, yes, slowly you can feel the eternal bliss and joy. That's what we all of us want in our life. When we get then we are not depending on something external. I don't have this. I don't have that. If you got this, these things will stop. Yeah. Yes. Because the soul is by nature. 
Yes. Oh, yeah. So all of you were able to understand into what we are discussing today's class. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I'll be cancel this. okay so thank you everyone for coming hare krishna